All right, folks, we are back. It's Thursday and you have another edition in a series that we've been doing around the advertiser friendly content guidelines. Now, if you're new to this, what happens is I tell you which guideline we're going through. I run through the language, but I also try to provide some human insights about what we're seeing around creator confusion. What we did in our last news flash is ask via the comments for you to give us some questions to help us identify where we can resolve confusion trustworthy community that you are, you've engaged and we really appreciate it. So if you click on the guide to self-certification, you're going to find a drop down. Within that, you're going to see the first category saying you can turn on ads for this content. What does that mean? It means the green icon. We refer here to two key things, hunting related content and guns discharged in a safe environment. And if I am you, I'm thinking number one, what is a safe environment by YouTube standards? And also, where does airsoft content actually figure in? Let's deal with a safe environment first. We're gonna consider a shooting range a safe environment. We're gonna consider a densely wooded area a safe environment. And the types of areas where we would not consider the environment to be safe is a heavily populated one. And we know that the vast, vast majority of firearms creators would never dream of discharging a weapon in a heavily populated area. So this is just guidance for anybody who may be confused. In addition to what falls within the category of the green icon, you're gonna see what falls into the category of the yellow icon. And that's the next two rows within that drop down box. That refers to use of guns outside of controlled environment. Another way to understand that is use of guns outside of that safe environment that I've referred to. Now, the display of homemade, pre printed or previously modified guns, we think that's relatively clear. If it's not, make sure to drop us a couple of comments below and we'll try and get back to you. But the key here is use of airsoft or ball bullet guns against others without protective gear. The first thing to understand is airsoft content is free to monetize with a green icon in almost every instance. What you have to watch out for though is use of airsoft guns or BB guns where somebody in the video is not wearing protective gear and they're hit by one of these things or somebody's trying to hit them. Now, let's move into where you're gonna see no ads at all. And this one's really, really important to understand. Content that shows gun creation or modification, including assembly or disassembly, promotes gun makers or sellers or facilitates the sale of gun, as well as minors using guns without adult supervision. Now, minors using guns without adult supervision, we think is pretty clear, but let's dig into the rest of it, particularly the promotion of sale. When I see this, if I'm you, I'm thinking, okay, I can see a clear list here of the kinds of things where promotion of sale will earn me that yellow icon and the no ads rating. But let's take a step back. None of these things are actually prohibited from getting the green icon in and of themselves. I'm looking at gun grips, I'm looking at ammunition, I'm looking at silencers. All of those things featured in content aren't reason to apply a yellow icon. It's when there's promotion of sale or the channel through which you bought it yourself. So I'll give you an example. Fitting a silencer onto a firearm and saying, this silencer is great and I bought it in shop X and I got a really good deal on it. That is totally fine for the green icon. It's when creators start to say, I got this silencer, you can find it via the link below, and if you use this coupon code, you're gonna get 25% off. The promotion of sale of these items is going to earn you that no ads status and the yellow icon. What's also important to consider is anything that is promotional content when it comes to gun stores as well. So that, in effect, is another way of trying to promote the sale of a firearm. The rest of it, we hope, is pretty intuitive, which is around gun creation or modification. And what we're talking about here is stuff like bump stocks, which we know the vast, vast majority of firearms creators wouldn't dream of engaging in. And that is effectively it when it comes to firearms content. But wait, we have questions. So what we want to do is take the questions from the community. And there were about five or six from our most recent newsflash, which we're gonna dive into now. So the first question came from Airsoft Review Argentina. Um, are Airsoft channels treated the same as firearms channel? This is key information. And it is, that's what we're trying to provide. So are Airsoft channels considered firearms channels? The first thing to highlight is 
the advertiser-friendly content guidelines are applied at the video level and not the channel level. So your channel could be about collectible dolls, uh, but we wouldn't be judging you on the basis of the channel title or the general theme of the channel. It's always about the videos themselves. To answer your question, airsoft videos aren't considered firearms content. The one thing you have to watch out for is safe usage of airsoft guns. So if you're, for example, pulling a prank on somebody and shooting them with an airsoft gun, there's no protective gear at all. That's something that's going to get you that yellow icon. So the next question we have is from Curio Curioso. Can we use a video of firearms tests with the National Army testing in targets within a forest? So really good question. And that's a perfect example of a safe, controlled environment. So my answer to that without being able to see the specific video is it would be safe for the green icon. So our next question comes from Marcus M who asks, what if you're making animated action scenes? Can firearms and whatnot be possible? There's a lot of information over anime style animations, which include action-based entertainment, like those you'd see in Marvel and other high profile movies. The answer to your question, Marcus, is when it comes to firearms with animated content, we don't even define that as firearms related content. What you would have to be conscious of is our violence guidelines, our shocking content guidelines, and occasionally our inappropriate language guidelines to make sure you're not falling foul of any of the yellow icon guidelines there. But for a direct answer, animated content featuring a gun is not what we considered firearm related content. Next up is a question from Chris Sparrows. I'm interested in how firearms guidelines work within the context of a fictional video, for example, narrative work, such as an action film or the like. And again, similar to that question from Marcus, if it's fictional, what you just have to make sure is if there's a bloody scene or something like that, you're not falling foul of our violence or our shocking content guidelines. The next question is from Harshman Hills. Thanks for doing this. My questions are, when the video complies with the self-check guidelines, why are some of them still demonetized? Why is building a firearm, which is legal, not advertiser friendly? Why does the AI automatically block certain words and limit the ads, such as the brand name or silencer? There's a lot to clear up here. Our advertiser friendly content guidelines are informed by advertisers' tolerance to appear on certain content. So the legality of something doesn't mean that it's always going to get the green icon. There's a lot of stuff that's legal that advertisers do not want to appear on, and that is what governs and directs the advertiser-friendly content guidelines. Why is building a firearm not advertiser-friendly? We've provided guidance and advertisers aren't comfortable appearing on something which features gun creation and how-to guide. The second question that I want to clear up here is why does the AI automatically block certain words and limit the ads? There is no list when it comes to the name of the product. So for example, silencer and the brand name. These are things that don't factor in to whether something gets the green icon or the yellow icon. Now, our classifiers, our algorithms take into account a ton of different signals. So don't think just because you're using one word and you've seen demonetization once, twice, three times, that that is necessarily the reason. And finally, we have a question around laser guns and Nerf guns. And that, I'm happy to report, is the type of content that will get the green icon. That we don't consider firearms related content. Anything you can find in a typical toy store will probably get the green icon 99% of the time. Now, we did get some really good comments from Slav Guns. Slav Guns says, some of the topics and terms in the guidelines examples are just plain wrong or were written by somebody who obviously never held a gun. Please let me know if you want to discuss these guidelines and get some help or answers. And that's something we're always eager to do. And the best way in which you can do that is drop more context in the comments below. If there's a specific term or topic that you feel we could refer to in a way that's more recognizable and more easily understood by firearms creators like yourself, Slav Guns, make sure to drop it in the comments below will review it and potentially update it on the page itself. And that, my friends, is it for this week's edition of the Advertiser Friendly Content Guidelines. As ever, we welcome as much feedback as possible. Have a great week.